COVID-19 has brought forth the new normal. Over one year ago, as of the filming of this video, the world stopped in its tracks to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. And with that came major changes in how we work, interact, and how we shop, and ultimately, how we live. Surprisingly, or maybe not so surprisingly, e-commerce boomed at this time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Katie Melissa here. I'm a seven figure e-commerce seller and Amazon coach, and I manage high volume client stores. Today's video is covering e-commerce growth all throughout COVID-19. What sold most, what the buying trends were during this time. But before I dive into this interesting topic, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you wanna see more videos just like this. Now let's get into it. One of the first behaviors to drastically change was the way that we buy products. People were slowly moving away from malls and toward online shopping, but the pandemic made this change even greater. Similarly, online grocery businesses were flooded with customers, with delivery services like Instacart seemingly overwhelmed overnight. So what gains did we see? COVID-19 related online shopping resulted in additional $174 billion in e-commerce revenue in 2020, with online sales accounting for nearly all gains in retail in 2020. This was the first time in history that e-commerce sales accounted for all retail sales gains, with Amazon alone representing nearly a third of all US e-commerce sales. There are more major shifts from last year. For the first time, Walmart will be the number two online retailer in North America, surpassing Apple Inc. So what were people buying the most? Number one on the list was actually doormats. Products that are related to upgrading our living spaces have been top sellers, with doormats being ranked the highest. Number two was storage containers. People have also been taking the time to purge and taking on year-long spring cleaning sprees. The more time we spent at home, the more time we realized that we should be organizing. And pulling in the number three spot was kitchen towels. Kitchen towels saw a massive spike in sales since more people were taking cleaning matters more seriously and washing their hands more often. New towels were definitely in order. So how do you invest in e-commerce? Many savvy investors and individuals are profiting off the e-commerce boom, and it's actually easier than most people think. You actually don't need your own line of branded products when opening an Amazon FBA or Walmart business of your own. You just need enough capital for inventory. Speaking of which, I just want to quickly mention my company, Elite Automation. At Elite Automation, our clients start earning profits after just a few weeks of opening an online store with us. We are a one-stop automation shop that builds automated e-commerce businesses for clients. We target a 15% to 30% profit margin. My dedicated team of Amazon selling experts monitor and scale stores. We manage the seller's products, inventory, sales, customer service, and store entirely. So I hope this video shed some light on how much e-commerce picked up during the COVID-19 pandemic. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and also remember to leave a comment in the comment section down below if you have a video suggestion for me. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more e-commerce and online business tips. I will see you in the next video. Bye.